And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Business here on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Scott. Thank you for being with us today. We have another uh, full show for you, beginning with Rachel Martin, who is the CEO of R&R &R Consulting. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How good are to you? see you. Nice to Ooh, see you. Nice strong grip there. Absolutely. Which is important in business, isn't it? Indeed it is. Yeah. So what does R&R &R Consulting do? Well, we do public media and government relations. And what does that mean? Well, uh, it means that for businesses, but I mainly, my clients uh, mainly consist of the military, law enforcement, state, local and federal, as well as um, fire, emergency services, public safety type. So, I mean, I also have some nonprofit organizations that I help out. They're usually tied to youth organizations, mm -hmm. but um, for the most part, it's the you know, law enforcement and so forth. So, um, what I try to do is put them out in a positive light because there's so much that goes on these days with the negative side. Sure. The negative side. Every time you turn your television on, you see, you know, something bad that happened. You don't ever really hear about the good that happens. The media, you know, they, they control whatever they want to. And so it's my job to help um, the public see the brighter side of what they're doing for us because right now, you know, with um, all of the cutbacks, the budget cutbacks and the government, the, the law enforcement, the military, the fire, the ones that are taking the big hits, and it's just, it's not right. They, they're the ones that keep us safe, and we need to treat them a lot better and make sure that they're getting um, paid what is due to them now and when they retire or when there's a, a passing that their families are paid, you know, what they deserve. These men and women put their lives on the line daily and just... You know, the majority of people look at them like, oh, hey, there they are, or, you know, get away from us. We don't want you there. And unless they need them, then there it's like, oh, my God, thank, thank you. We're so glad you're here. So I try to put them out in the public light. And then if there is something bad that comes up that is put out into the media, a lot of the time the media does not get the right story or they'll twist the story completely. Or if it's under investigation at the time, and so the media is just not given any information, the media will put their own twist on things because of, you know, different people that they hear it from, different out in the public, their sources, which are not right, and so I'll come in and just smash that out mm -hmm. and make sure that my clients are put in the light properly and that if there's anything that's wrong that's being said about them, that I make sure that it's made right. So you're a spin doctor. Well, kind I guess of. you can put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a negative. It's right. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've been called many things, but none of them bad, so I'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> so now most police departments or a lot of law enforcement agencies have a public relations person on staff. So where do you come in? Yes, they do. Um, I'm actually hired because some of the times, you know, some of their public relations people are great. They really are. And sometimes um, they're not so great, and it's not because they don't know what they're doing, it's because they're, they're d pulling double or triple duty. They're also an officer, they're right. also a fireman, you know, and then they're just giving, again, budget cuts. So they're wearing all these hats, and they really don't have the, the extreme knowledge that I do or the ties that I do. I mean, this is my full-time job. I make sure that, you know, I'm tied to whoever I need to be tied to to make sure that they're... Um, getting the proper attention that they need and, and it's used effectively. And so um, I'm actually hired by the associations and the unions because separately. So I'm not even getting paid by, by the government agencies. The government agencies, yes, they pay their own personal, inform you know, their, their inf uh, public information officers, but the unions and the associations want to make sure that they are taken care of properly mm -hmm. and effectively. And so they take the money out of their association fees their union dues to pay me. Now, are you the person who goes on camera or do you train someone in the organization to go on camera? You know, that's, I always suggest um, to all of my clients that they go on camera. I'll train um, a number of people and um, it depends on how big the agency is and how big my client is, the, the group of themselves. But um, if, it's, if it's the union, then it's somebody from each station. I'll train and it's usually, um, they call them probies, which are the newer guys that are on probation. And um, because they're always there and they're kind of like the gophers, they have to do everything and every, you know, anything. And then, um, so I'll train them and as well as um, a, an upper level officer, like a sergeant or a lieutenant and to make sure that, um, because somebody, there's always somebody higher on deck there. And so I'll train both from each area and tell them exactly what type of information I want to be fed daily so I can send out press releases or not and spin it however, you know, we can 
And then um, if there's something, of course, that's a crisis that comes up, then they call me and then I'll advise them to either go on air, not go on air. Um, it, it's not always declined to state it. it normally isn't, but every great once in a while it is. But it, it's always followed up with, you know, we're going under investigation right now, so I'm going to have to decline to make any statements further than that. But once the investigation is complete, we will be in touch. Which is a nice way of saying no comment. Well, not really, because the majority of the time there does have to be an investigation made. And when you say no comment, then that just gives, well, number one, it gives an open door to, to the media to, to put any spin on it that they want and the public to absorb the spin that the media puts out to them, right. which, you know, I, I would say 50% of the time is not true. And, um, but that long statement you gave was basically saying no comment, but in a nice way. It is, but again, ultimately, it's covering their behind. Because if you say no comment, that's it. They can smash you and, and put... The public is so critical. You know, they're quick to judge, but they're not quick to praise. And they just, they just don't get enough praise, and that's, that's why I'm here. You know, and um, because of my genuine passion and dedication for you know, the, um, law enforcement, military, and fire. I was appointed um, last year to National Chairman of Homeland Security by the Republican Women Federated. And in that, you know, so it's like 50% of my time I, I'm running my business, and the other 50% of my time I'm volunteering nationwide, doing everything I can to make their lives easier and better. It's got to be tough to run a business when you can only put 50% of your time into it. Well, you know what, it's, it's, it's not because it... It, they tie into each other. Don't get me wrong, I barely sleep, you know, two or three <laughs> hours max a night. I know how that but, is, yeah. But I love it. And when you love what you do for a living, I don't care if you're if you're the janitor and you just like having things super clean, you know, or, or you're the president of the United States. If you love your job, you know, being tired and exhausted is a good thing. It really is. Didn't they say if you love your job, you'll never work another day in your life or something like that? Well, you know, I said if I was independently wealthy, I would still do what I do right now, but just completely volunteering. I would, it would be completely donated all of my time. Hey, there's a $400, $400 million Powerball jackpot tonight. Right? All right. <laughs> so I need to go out and buy a ticket. You say if you won that, you would continue to work. <laughs> absolutely. If volunteering your time. I absolutely would. I love what I do, and I'm passionate, and I, 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 I appreciate law enforcement, fire, and the military beyond any. And, you know, a lot of people, when they see somebody in the military, they go up and say thank you and shake their hand, you know, and they, and, and you know, um, the veterans and so forth. And, and I do that, but I think that people need to stop and also thank law enforcement and fire because they're here. They're still keeping us safe. And people don't appreciate them until something happens on our homeland, on our territory, like 9-11, like Boston, when the terrorists hit, you know. Right. Then people are saying, oh, you know, thank God you're here. But why wasn't the FBI doing their job? Why wasn't this prevented? You know, let's, let's take a step back and look at the entire picture. Okay, because I'm chairman of Homeland Security, because I work with federal law enforcement, I get news fed to me daily as to the, the preventative maintenance that is done, the terrorists that, that have been caught that are, you know, on, on a lower level of terrorism, which, I mean, a terrorist is a terrorist to me, right. but, you know, there are some that are most wanted, which are horrifying, and there are those that they, that they just want to catch, and then, you know, um, some of their, um, their action plans that, you know, that are intervened, some of the weapons that they find that... It, it, it is daily that it's stopped here and prevented. And if you go to any other country in the world, this is the safest. We are the strongest military. We are the strongest nation in the world because of our homeland security, because of law enforcement, because of fire, because of military. It's a whole. It's not just one. It's everybody. All right. There you go. How can folks reach you if they're interested in hiring you, I guess? Um, they can reach me. I will give out my, uh, my email address is Rachel at R and R Consulting Firm, and that's Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L. Or they can reach me at my, um, if they're interested in any Homeland Security terrorism um, information, they'd like to be put on uh, my mailing list, they can reach me at um, Homeland Security Chair at CFRW.org. Um, and I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff, too. So Everybody is nowadays. Yes. Well, Rachel, thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. I, I feel safer now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, you're watching Let's Talk Business on CentralValleyTalk.com. 
Uh, right here in the Tower District and all over the Central Valley, you'll see the Bobby Salazar signs everywhere. Let's bring in Bobby Salazar. Bobby! Hey, how are you? How's it going, man? Good. Real good to, real good to have you back on. Now, uh, a new sponsor of The Buzz, I want to thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, let's, well, I want to get right down to it. What'd you bring? Well, this is our famous uh, party tray. It's our variety tray, we call it, and it has just a little bit of everything. It has uh, little taquitos and burritos and quesadillas and guacamole. And it's one of the, the most popular ones that we sell. It's, uh, you can call in. We can have them ready in like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You know how busy we are, but, you know, spur of the moment, this is a great deal to, to get for any party, any occasion. For the Super Bowl or any occasion, order a party tray from Bobby Salazar's. Hey Stan Gross of Horn Photo. Are you looking for a camera that takes better pictures than your phone? Why not give Horn Photo a shot? We can show you fantastic cameras from Nikon, Canon, Sony, and GoPro. Your time is valuable, so before you buy from Costco, Best Buy, or the internet, come see us. We've got great prices and deals, super knowledgeable staff, and we've been selling cameras in Fresno for 76 years. We're in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Knees, or go to hornphoto.com, Fresno's Camera Center. Solar energy is now more affordable than ever. Hi, I'm Ty Simpson, sales manager of the new Bland Solar office here in Clovis. And right now at Bland Solar, we're offering a program with zero down payment. That's right, zero money out of your pocket. This new program is affordable and easy with guaranteed production and no appraisals needed. In fact, your new system can be up and running in as little as four weeks. Bland Solar looks forward to serving the residents of the Central Valley. So call us today at 554-5657. Bland Solar, the Valley's expert in solar. Hi, my name is Bonnie, and I'm a show producer here at CentralValleyTalk.com. We have a lot of great shows that you can share your business with our viewers. I'd love for you to give me a call. My number is 559-289-9687. Are you losing weight drinking coffee? Find out how Javita can change your life, help you lose weight, stay healthy, all while making money doing it. Call now, 246-4895. For all of your real estate needs, call Mike Briggs Properties, 559-486-6758, or check us out at MikeBriggsProperties.com. Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on CentralValleyTalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. on Comcast channel 200 and digital channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. CentralValleyTalk.com And welcome back to CentralValleyTalk.com. Let's talk business. Robbie's here today because in just a little bit, we are going to meet a local dog whisperer, <laughs> a dog mentor. And uh, we'll see what he can do for Robbie. Although Robbie, I think, is a very well-behaved dog, but we'll see what our friend thinks in just a little bit. Right now, though, we want to talk about uh, the California Learning Connection with Shannon Johnson. How are you, Shannon? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice well, to you meet you having again. Me. Yes. <laughs> we were on Chuck's Leonard show just a little bit earlier. But um, you, well, l kind of explain to everybody. I mean, I know what you do, but tell everybody at home. You start learning language learning with very young kids. Absolutely. We are starting a new program called our Little Language Learners Club. Just as it sounds, it's for our little ones. Little Language Learners Club. <laughs> and we'll be teaching them language skills they can use throughout their life. But we are housed, this program will be at California Learning Connection here in Fresno, we're a local business. And within California Learning Connection, we have Center for Communication Skills. That's our speech therapy department. And I myself is I am a speech language pathologist and work there. And we also have within the California Learning Connection, we have our good fellow occupational therapy and they do the occupational therapy programs. So we have a little bit of everything. So we're excited to add this new program to our, our office here. Okay. Kids obviously learn to talk at home. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You take it to the next step, the next level? What? We do, and within this program, it's targeted towards those three-year-old skills, the language, the vocabulary, the music appreciation, the alphabet, the colors, the shapes, all those great skills. And we're doing it in a real fun way. We're going to have a theme each week, all of our games, our books, our music will be designed around this, our activities. And the great thing about the program is it is a parent-involved program. 
So it gives you a chance to really have that bonding time with your child. It's an hour each week. They're going to learn. They're going to grow and develop and in a real fun way. So it's not a babysitting thing. Drop off the kid for no, an hour. You want the parents involved. Not at all. The parents are a part of it and having a great time. Yeah. Now, how often do you find that the teaching you're doing to the child is to correct something that they've learned from the parents <laughs> wrong, the wrong way to speak. Well, the great part of having the parent involved is they can see what we're doing and continue on with that at home mm -hmm. and continue with encouraging, the asking the questions and talking with their child. And this program, the Little Language Learners Club, it's not necessarily for children who need speech therapy. It's for any Anyone. child who's developing those skills, our, our three-year-old skills. So. so I'm a little confused. If my child doesn't have any kind of a speech problem, why would I want them to go to this program? Just as if you would want them to participate in other classes, you have that social skills opportunity for them to develop with their peers, for them to appreciate music, to develop their vocabulary, and learn those skills that they will need to progress on into their kindergarten years. Yeah. So, so the music, mm -hmm. I mean, I. I know you don't want to sing today, but <laughs> how, how does that work? Are there, is it melodic learning or? Absolutely. A lot of children, speech or no speech problems, enjoy that time to interact. It helps them get out of their shell. They participate, have a great time, learn those skills and language with the music. It helps with that. Absolutely. It, it sounds like f maybe this would be good for a, a shy child. It would be great for that. Yes, and having the comfort of their parent there would help with any children who do feel shy. That would yeah. be great. Is it usually both parents that come or just one? Or? Whatever they prefer, whatever works. And this is an eight-week program? It is an eight-week program. Each week will have a new theme, something fun to do, and they're welcome to continue on after the eight weeks, but it is designed for new themes each eight weeks. Yeah. Session. What would be some of the themes? We have vehicles, we have weather, we have camping and beach and bugs and lots of fun things we'll be doing. So everything in that week is related to that week's topic? Exactly. So like beach, what would you... We'd be doing some letters and shapes, maybe using with the sand. We would do activities, fun songs and books, all geared around that, that thing. Hmm. Having a great time developing the animals and fish of the beach and whatnot. So. Kids learn better when they're having fun, don't they? Absolutely. We all do. We all want to have fun. And if you're learning along the way, that's what it's all about. Yeah. How did you get involved with this? I'm a speech therapist. I'm a speech language pathologist at Center for Communication Skills. And I work with a lot of little children right now that are about that age, the two and three year age. And it's such a vital time in their life where they're just learning and growing. And we know that those first five years are just amazing where they're taking all that information in and it really sets the foundation for the rest of their life. So <laughs> does, we're does, excited. Does it drive you crazy when you hear teenagers talk sometimes and it's just, you know what I'm talking about. I do. Horrible to listen to. And you probably say, if I could just have gotten a hold of them <laughs> when they were three years old. <laughs> I think some teenagers choose to talk the way they talk. And, and that's our goal is to give everybody that foundation and then how they choose to use it. That's what it's all about. Well, if those teenagers only knew how stupid they really sounded, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'll let you be the one. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, as you, as you grow older, you realize how important communication and speech and pronunciation and all of that is. Absolutely. And it sounds to me like you're trying to instill that in children at a very young age. Absolutely. We lay the foundation. We want that to be a strong skill that they have and it's going to improve their lives. Yeah. Any amazing success stories you can share? Um, we have such amazing children. They are such hard workers. We have little ones that I've started working with them and no talking, no words. It's just all withdrawn. Right. And it's, it's and very, you watch them blossom. Probably. Absolutely. We have them going from being frustrated from not being able to communicate to telling you, they tell us what they want and what they need, and, and you just, I just eat it up. I love it. <laughs> I'm very excited. Can they to go that. too far? <laughs> hey, when we work so hard for it, I get quite excited about it. I'll take it. So. <laughs> All right. Now, the eight week classes, yes. are they ongoing or do they? start in chunks or how does it work? It will be ongoing. So like I said, so you can pick it up anytime in that eight weeks. Well, generally we want to try and do the eight week session. So you get the most of it. Okay. You're not missing anything, but you're welcome to start in whenever works. And that way we're just going to keep on going. So they're okay. welcome to continue or start where they need to start. And roughly about 
Twenty dollars a week is the what folks can per, expect to pay per session. Per it session. is an eight-week session, so you can break it into two payments and eighty dollars. And it starts our first session on March fifth here at the California Learning Connection, which is out on Shaw near Van Ness. It is. Our address is two five zero five West Shaw in Fresno. All right, and give everybody your phone number. Uh, uh, web page and absolutely anything you want. call us with any questions our phone number is 559-228-9100 and a great way to get some information about the services we offer there at California Learning Connection is at our web page which is www.clconnect.com so great way to get some information clconnect.com yes Shannon thank you so much absolutely my pleasure nice Thanks hearing about me. kids coming along and doing good things. Absolutely. All right. And we'll be back with more on centralvalleytalk.com. I'm Mike Briggs, owner and CEO at centralvalleytalk.com. If you like talk radio, you'll love centralvalleytalk.com. All local, all live, all the time, centralvalleytalk.com. Have you seen a house for sale in the Tower District that you might like to own? It doesn't matter what realtor in town is selling it. If you like it, check it out at TowerDistrictProperties.com. Are you losing weight drinking coffee? Find out how Javita can change your life, help you lose weight, stay healthy, all while making money doing it. Call now, 246-4895. Hi, Priscilla Sanchez here. How would you like to be a guest on Chuck Leonard Central Valley Buzz? Give me a call or text, 559-203-0619. Hello, I'm Shelly at Horn Photo, and it's time to do more with your pictures. Get those images out of your camera, off your computer, and rescued from deep within your phone, and turn them into memorable photo keepsakes and gifts. Here at Horn Photo in Fresno, we have many wonderful photo items that we produce in-house, and we're here to help you find your individual style. So now's the time. Stop by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Ease, or visit us online at hornphoto.com to explore the possibilities. Ag is a vital part of the economy here in the Central Valley. Hi, I'm Ty Simpson, sales manager of the new Bland Solar Office here in Clovis. And if you're in the ag industry, you've probably given thought to solar. Whether you run a dairy, orchard, farm, or ranch at Bland Solar, we can custom design a system that's perfect for your business. The fact is that in this economy, replacing high cost utility power with solar power is a great way to improve your bottom line. Bland Solar looks forward to serving the residents of the Central Valley. So call us today at 554-5657. Bland Solar, the Valley's expert in solar. Hey, everybody, let's have some fun. Right. You only live once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Watch Mike and Athena Fridays at 1 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. For all of your real estate needs, call Mike Briggs Properties, 559 486 Six seven five eight, or check us out at MikeBriggsProperties.com. Hi, I'm Mike Briggs from Mike Briggs Properties. We're in some very uncertain economic times. Many people have lost their homes. Many people face losing their homes now. Know your rights. Know your options. Come talk to the experts right here at Mike Briggs Properties. By the way, we'll talk to you for free. We do not charge any fees at Mike Briggs Properties. Call us at 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. CentralValleyTalk.com And we are back on uh, Let's Talk Business here on CentralValleyTalk.com and oh boy, look what we have. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of yummy food in front of us from a place called Something to Eat. Something to Eat. Something to Eat. <laughs> what a good name. This is India Birch and... That just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? Something, Something to, to eat. eat. That's that's the, did that's you come the up idea. With that name? No, definitely not the owner did. But the that's, owner that's did? the idea for it to just kind of roll off your tongue. Who is the owner? The, Stephanie Mitchell. And yeah. she, where is she today? She's she couldn't unfortunately she couldn't be here. Stephanie. She was kind of busy, so she couldn't make it. <laughs> is I she came. cooking? <laughs> yeah, she's cooking. She's always oh, cooking. So, so she's the owner, the cook, probably Definitely. She cleans. she runs that business. Like she It's she, not she, easy running no, a business, definitely is it? Not. So 
tell everybody what kind of food you serve there. What's the, so, what's the uh, cuisine? Something to eat is a Christian lounge and restaurant. Uh, we cater to families and, you know, home style, good cooked food. You know, um, we have breakfast, lunch and dinner. You know, breakfast is from 7 to 11. We offer things such as grits, you know. Um, sausage gravy and biscuits, you know, hash brown, fresh fruit, fresh pastries. Yum. Yes, definitely. Lunch is sort of like casserole, fried chicken, just different things like that. Dinner, oxtails, you know, uh, just d- deep food, greens, succotash, hash, you know. Something like that. Some really good food. Now, is it the same menu all the time, or does it constantly change? No, the menu change? is that's the, that's the that's the thing. The menu is always different. It's almost never the same. So you could definitely call. We have it posted on our website, Facebook. You know, you can pre-order text if there's something on there you see that you like. You know, we'll have that ready. We offer curbside service. So all right. Let's open up some of these things and show the folks here. Definitely, this kind is of, one of our uh, signature dish right here. It's a homemade baked yam. And it has a baked special yam? A baked oh. yam. It's oh, kind of like a baked potato, but a Can sweet yam. Can you see yam. that? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Baked. Bake. Oh. <laughs> it has a special sauce in it, so it's really sweet if you guys Ooh. like to. Is there maple syrup on there? Uh, it's a special ingredient. I can't tell you that. Oh. I don't think it's syrup, though. <laughs> that smells. No, that would be a, a side, right? <laughs> yeah. That would be one of the sides that we offer. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Okay. So we have right what here. What do we have here? Let's see. Ooh. Right here we have our, our our beef shank. Beef shank. Really, really, really good. Roasted well and seasoned Lunch or really dinner good or tender. Both? This is, would be a dinner. This would be a this dinner? This would be a dinner item. It's a, dinner is always a six menu item. You just choose what you want. You know what? That meat looks like it would just It just it falls just off fall the bone. Apart. It melts in your mouth. If you like home-cooked food, you are going to love something to eat. Mm. Yeah. Billy, we're going to eat well after this. <laughs> <laughs> And what? What's so here? right here we have two different sides. It Ooh. is a succotash and a cabbage green. The cabbage green is a cabbage and green mixed, and the succotash is loose corn, a little bit of tomato, um, hamburger meat, and it's just all kind of mixed together. Sh- string beans. It's really really good. There probably aren't a lot of restaurants in Fresno. No, where can, there are. Almost, there, there, right? there, there's no restaurants in <laughs> Fresno like something to eat. No, the food's great. Now, here, a special drink you make, you told Yeah, me. this is called the something tea. Something tea. And it has, you know, our own little ingredients mixed in there. I can't Is it really like an iced tea? It's or? like an iced tea. It's ice cold, really cold, really fruity, refreshing. It's really good. Yeah. So what do you do down there? I'm a hostess. So when you come down there, you'd see me. I introduce you to our restaurant. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. Waitress slash hostess. And, you know, our focus is family. We're family oriented. We want you to all that come in as guests to leave as friends. You know, we don't want it to be the Aww. first time that you come. So you love of it's very relaxing ambiance. I like it. I, like I don't it. like a restaurant to go into where they it, it's cold and yeah. No, 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 definitely. I want to feel like I'm at home. A warm, comfortable feeling after you eat. We don't want you to just rush and leave. You want to get comfortable, sit back. Oh, I can kick back and just. Oh, you're full. You want to, you know, get, kids can run around. We don't really know. It's it's huge. It's like a lounge area, a dessert bar, and a banquet area. So it's, it's huge. Now, is it booths or tables? There's or tables. Both, there's high bars. There's low table areas. There's pillows that you can sit on if you're at a more of like um. You, you would have to be there to see it. It's actually it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. We have a banquet area that we rent out, baby showers, parties, different events, such as the Black History, Black and Gold event we have coming up we'll February 21st. Yeah. But you're, you're down in the downtown Fresno, right? Kern and Van Ness area? Kern and Van Ness, right on the corner, 2039. I asked you what was there before, and you weren't sure. You said there was I'm a not, nightclub or sure. before. Some, or... Some, some type of nightlife, something. Just follow the crowds, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hear different things. Yeah. So. Listen, February is Black History Month. Yes, it so is. So you have yes. a special event coming up called Black is Gold. Yes, Black is Gold. And what do you have? A big feast and we're some comedians? Have, we're going to be serving you guys family style. You'll be entering from our banquet area. We're going to have it, you know, kind of sitting as if you were sitting with your family. The food will be prepared in the middle so you're able to serve yourself. Like a you buffet? Know, like a buffet. Like okay. a buffet. Um, we haven't decided on the menu items yet. Of course, it will be something home cooked. We're going to focus on soul food that day. We'll have yes. comedians there, you know, just selling. Several different things will be going on that night. It's going to be a great time. Tickets when are only $20. $20? Yeah, February 21st. Is that a Friday, Saturday? I'm not. I think that's a Friday. I'm Uh-oh. not quite sure. I think that's Somebody a Friday. Somebody look it up Friday. on your phone. It's Friday. a Friday, I think. Yeah, it's a Friday. <laughs> you, so $20, you get what? You get your drink, nice your meal. dessert, a nice meal, and night entertainment. And comedy. Know? Bring the kids, bring the family, good clean comedy, no cursing, anything like that. Now, what's the parking yeah. down there? So the is it on the street? Kind or? Of the parking's on the street. Yeah. That's that's what we know so far. We we're trying to get it to where we can 
validate some parking across the street. So we'll keep updated. We'll keep it updated on the website. And, you know. Now, are, you, are you kind of close to Chuck Chansey Park? We're really close. If you come out of one of the exits of Chuck Chansey Park, you're right there. We're like kind of on the corner. We're a little bit down from Club One Casino okay. and right on the corner of, you know, right there by the full time off you're coming out. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. What's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite thing My is favorite. fried chicken. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Succotash and the, the yam. The yam is pretty good. I like some German chocolate cake, maybe peach cobbler. You know, I'm, I like home cooked food. I like to eat. So. Yeah. I mean, if a, if a restaurant has good fried yeah, chicken, good, good. And I will chicken, go back. And that chicken is good. The <laughs> cook is from Kansas, so you know it's it's different. Why is Kansas known for its fried chicken? Um, I'm not sure. I just know different sides of the United States cook different. I feel like more down that way is more of the, the soul food type. So yeah. that's what we're looking at. All right. So the restaurant is called Something to Eat. Something to Eat. <laughs> and it's at Curran and Van Ness in downtown Fresno. And again, the big event coming up on, what did we say it was a Friday? It's a Friday, February 21st. Friday, February 21st. It's called Black is Gold. Yes. And it's, is it all you can eat or is it's, it? It's all you can eat until it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's until it's gone. <laughs> a night of food and comedy and good drinks. Good entertainment. And good yeah. entertainment. Yeah. Uh, and it's a Black I'm, History event, so you'll get a lot of information. Hope you get a nice turnout. Pretty good. It'll be, it'll Do you guys have good. a website? Or? Yes, we're at www.somethingtoeat.com. We're also on Facebook. You know, www.facebook forward slash something to eat. So and it's S U M S U M T I N T A eat something to eat. You can't forget that. You can't forget it. We also have a number five five nine five seven two two eat. You can text that. You know, if you want some information or a menu item. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, sorry. It's going to be pretty oh, cool after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. India, thank you so much. Thank you for having Appreciate me. It. Thank you. I look forward to, to going down there and sampling everything you, you have you. on the I menu. I hope to see you. Fried chicken? I'm there. I'm there. All right. You are watching Let's Talk Business on centralvalleytalk.com. Uh, right here in the Tower District and all over the Central Valley, you'll see the Bobby Salazar signs everywhere. Let's bring in Bobby Salazar. Bobby! Hey, how are you? How's it going, man? Good. Real good to, real good to have you back on. Now, uh, a new sponsor of The Buzz, I want to thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, let's, well, I want to get right down to it. What'd you bring? Well, this is our famous uh, party tray. It's our variety tray, we call it, and it has just a little bit of everything. It has uh, little taquitos and burritos and quesadillas and guacamole. And it's one of the, the most popular ones that we sell. It's, uh, you can call in. We can have them ready in like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You know how busy we are, but, you know, spur of the moment, this is a great deal to, to get for any party, any occasion. For the Super Bowl or any occasion, order a party tray from Bobby Salazar's. Hey Stan Gross of Horn Photo. Are you looking for a camera that takes better pictures than your phone? Why not give Horn Photo a shot? We can show you fantastic cameras from Nikon, Canon, Sony, and GoPro. Your time is valuable, so before you buy from Costco, Best Buy, or the internet, come see us. We've got great prices and deals, super knowledgeable staff, and we've been selling cameras in Fresno for 76 years. We're in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Knees, or go to hornphoto.com, Fresno's Camera Center. Solar energy is now more affordable than ever. Hi, I'm Ty Simpson, sales manager of the new Bland Solar office here in Clovis. And right now at Bland Solar, we're offering a program with zero down payment. That's right, zero money out of your pocket. This new program is affordable and easy with guaranteed production and no appraisals needed. In fact, your new system can be up and running in as little as four weeks. Bland Solar looks forward to serving the residents of the Central Valley. So call us today at 554-5657. Bland Solar, the Valley's expert in solar. Hi, my name is Bonnie, and I'm a show producer here at CentralValleyTalk.com. We have a lot of great shows that you can share your business with our viewers. I'd love for you to give me a call. My number is 559-289-9687. Are you losing weight drinking coffee? Find out how Javita can change your life, help you lose weight, stay healthy, all while making money doing it. Call now, 246-4895. For all of your real estate needs, call Mike Briggs Properties, 559-486-6758, or check us out at MikeBriggsProperties.com. Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on CentralValleyTalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. 
on Comcast Channel 200 and Digital Channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. CentralValleyTalk.com And we are back. Let's talk business on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Scott. Again, thank you for being with us today. And as you can see, Robbie has joined me today because we have a dog mentor. Mentor. I know you don't like to say dog whisperer, but <laughs> a dog mentor. Bernardo Perez from Road Dogs Dog Mentoring. How are you, Bernardo? Wonderful. Thank you, sir. All right. You've been watching Robbie for a little bit now, and he's a pretty cool dog, don't you think? He's very cool. He's uh, very nice to uh, roaming around, not bothering anybody. I wish he had some kind of a problem that you could address today, but I, he's, he's, I'm very fortunate that he's as well behaved and listens as well as he does. So let's talk about some dogs that aren't that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when do people call you? Uh, when they got no one else to call. Uh, You're their last resort. Huh? That's what Help! It's like. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I, I work with the dogs that, that no one can help. And uh, I, I work with regular family dogs too. So whether you just got one problem or a lot of problems, uh, I give people a new, new perspective on things. Uh, I say, I teach people how to, how to speak dog because they definitely have a language. And when you pay attention to their language and communicate in their way of speaking, you get an entirely different dog. Now, are you talking about words or the way you say the words? No words. No words. No, they don't, they don't use their words. Dogs speak with their feet. So when you pay attention to their feet and how they move and you move likewise, that's communication Wait in their a minute. minds. They speak with their feet. Yes, sir. I've never heard that before. I get that a lot. Huh. So, well, he kind of prances around. So what does that tell you? Well, it's, it's not about the actual moving of the feet. It's where they put their the placement. Feet. Right. Let me ask you this. All right. Uh, does your dog ever step on your feet? Not, not really. You know dogs that step on your feet or lean well, sure. into you? Well, sure, yeah. That's all language. That's all pack order language. See, in a dog's mind, when we have a pattern of conversation, we say, hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you, okay? Dogs have a very similar pattern, but it's, hi, how you doing? What do you have covered? What space do you have covered? And when you, when you go You're at You're territorial. It, not territorial, because we're all on the same team. Okay. Uh, dogs are civil. There is no dominance in the dog world. Wait a minute, really? Really. The only reason there is dominance in the dog world is because way back when, someone interpreted the behavior that way and was able to convince others of it. Wait a minute. The dogs have a pack leader, don't they? Yes, they do. So, what am I missing? You're missing the fact that there is not two teams. You see, dominance is, is, is relegated to the, is to the opponent. You dominate your right. opponent. The dog is on my team. I think I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so there is no dominance in the dog world. So you teach people to be part of the team? Is yes. That Yes. People, we as humans don't know how to communicate with dogs, so we stay in the bleachers and let the dogs take care of themselves. But when you get in the game and you speak where you're supposed to speak and do what you're supposed to do, you get an entirely different animal. Hmm. How much of the training is the people training as opposed to the animal training? Well, um, I would say 90% of it. There are some dogs that have just developed behaviors and don't care to listen to humans anymore. And that's where I come in and I say, look, it's okay to listen to humans, but you know, we have to do things differently. So that's when it's the dog. And that's still only because the people have made him that way. The rest of the time, it's, it's, I say it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You through your life have developed skills or information, collected information through the years. I take that information and we put the puzzle together so that you can communicate with your dog. Hmm. You told me that you can sometimes do your lessons over the phone? How can you do that without seeing the dog or being there with the dog? Well, uh, just like I know ABC, one, two, three, they have a very similar vocabulary. So when the owner tells me what's going on with the dog, I can say, okay, then you do this, and it's amazing what happens. Hmm. Um, I, <laughs> there was a lady down in uh, um, Burbank who called me up and she has a German Shepherd that would just bite, 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 bite all up and down her arms. And she called me up and I said, okay, I want you to do this, that, and the other thing. And she did this, that, and the other thing. And then there was a complete silence. And she goes, oh my God, because <laughs> the dog responded. It was- You mean while she was still on the phone? While she was still on the phone with me. That's yes. a pretty quick response. Yeah. So she was doing just something basically wrong. 
Yes. And you had to point it out to her. Right. It's as simple as moving left when you should be going right. Interesting. All right. I'm imagining what you get a lot of what barking dog problems. Barking, biting, chewing, uh, jumping, uh, any behavior that you don't want in your house, we can be we can be fixed. Yeah. It's it's not with one session or is it usually multiple sessions the, the way it works is is uh, the first lesson you're going to get responses you're going to see a different dog because that's what I give right uh, and from there it's just how long you can keep it uh, the way it generally works is the first lesson I simply just bombard you with information your head hurts when we're done <laughs> okay the second lesson is you tell me what you retained I fill in the pieces and the third and fourth lesson that's when I hear oh I get it I see it yes that's where I get it and then after that, it's just smoothing it out and teaching you how to get to that next, that next step, tying it all together. Before Robbie, I had a Dalmatian named Sam who was on TV with us for a long, long time. And he, we, we did his training on the air with a former police dog trainer. And it wasn't to teach him to be a police dog. It was just the guy was a really good trainer. And when I first handed Sam over to him, I could see the difference. He knew all of a sudden that, uh-oh, I can't get away with the things I was getting away with before. And it wasn't that the trainer was mean, it was just the trainer was in command. And is, is that the way you approach it? Yes, it's, uh, it's not that I'm in command, it's just that we're having a conversation. Uh, I know by the scars on my body that I don't win every, every battle. Uh, but it's not about winning every battle, it's about winning the next battle. Uh, and that's what it's about, because once you win that next battle, you're in control, and however long you can keep it is yours. Has there ever been a dog you weren't able to help? There has been one right now, and it's not that I haven't been able to help him, but I haven't been able to get back up there, and that's a dog up north in Vacaville. And I hope he's still available. I need to get back up there to get to him. Uh, and uh, he's the only one right now that uh, I was not able I got results, and they're telling me that he's better, but I wasn't satisfied with the way I helped him. Now, you see that right there, that little yawn? Okay. That's not a yawn. I need you to consider that a lion's roar. A lion roars in the jungle. They're saying, if you can hear my, hear my roar, you're in my territory. See, the conversation that we were having earlier when I went and touched his foot, that was the conversation that he and I were having. And that was the end result of it. He was roaring at you. He was roaring at me. So what did, what, how did you interpret that roar? As, as, as he's saying that this is his territory. See, I, I invaded his territory by touching his foot. Remember I said they speak with their feet? Okay, well that was the start of our conversation. And through his movements throughout this whole thing, he finally said, okay, you win, but this is still my space. You sure it wasn't a yawn? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, I, I asked you during the break before we went on if there were any breeds that you won't work with. And you said, no, I'll, anything. Right, uh, I actually work with uh, several rescues right now. Um, they, they pull dogs from shelters and they you know, put them in fosters and permanent right. homes. And when that doesn't work out too well, then they bring me the dogs and I calm them down and, and then put them back out there. So I work with Huskies, Rottweilers, Pit Bulls, uh, German Shepherds. Uh, it doesn't matter. They all speak the same language. I, Chihuahuas too. <laughs> My mom's Chihuahua, yeah. <laughs> so are there some breeds that are tougher than others to mm, get you to see their way of thinking or whatever? Uh, boxers right now have the record uh, for being the taking me the longest to get my point across, uh, so boxers, boxers, and one specifically in Ventura County uh, in Moore Park, that boxer it took me an hour and forty five minutes to get my point across. And the point was that this is not his space anymore. It, I've had a lot of problems are related to that space issue, right? Yes. This is my space. Mm -hmm. And if you can solve that one, you probably solve a lot of peripheral issues too. Absolutely. The hardest thing for a dog to do is sit still. And so that's where I start. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Part of why I love this dog. Right. He's, <laughs> I really lucked out with this guy. I really did. Right. The second thing is, is people move doesn't mean dog move. You know, once people get their dog to sit still, then they try to go do something and the dog follows them right after. Right. So that's the second thing that I work on. And after that, it's pretty much downhill. Well, to me, that's a sign that the dog loves you and wants to be with you. But that's exactly right. But there are times you do want them to stay. Yes, yes, uh, and it's 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 that right there is what I do. Uh, 
the information about dog world, about dogs right now, is mostly true. There's just a little bit of differences that I have onto it. Uh, he hears a barking dog. That is, um, uh, that is, who is that? That's Coffee. Coffee is one of the rescue dogs that I work with. And he's available for adoption, by the way. He's a ah, beautiful dog. Should have brought him in. Well, I wasn't sure yet, so. <laughs> Robbie's got to run other dogs. Okay, how can folks reach you if they, uh, they want? And, and you're available, you told me, anywhere on the West Coast. Anywhere uh, on the West Coast, call me. Uh, we can schedule a lesson or do a lesson over the phone. It doesn't matter. But if you just do a simple Google search for dog mentoring, uh, you'll find me. I have my Facebook page, website, videos, all on there. Dogs so, mentoring. Right. Road dogs, dog mentoring. Okay. Thanks. Are you expensive? Uh, I am the last resort, so I am, am. I do have a price, yes. But you are worth it. Yes. If you, if you can save a, a relationship, right. what's that worth? Absolutely. All right. Nice to meet you. Same here. Thank I'm sorry you. Robbie roared at you, but. <laughs> it's okay. All right. All right. You're watching Let's Talk Business on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Briggs, owner and CEO at CentralValleyTalk.com. If you like talk radio, you'll love CentralValleyTalk.com. All local, all live, all the time, CentralValleyTalk.com. Have you seen a house for sale in the Tower District that you might like to own? It doesn't matter what realtor in town is selling it. If you like it, check it out at TowerDistrictProperties.com. Are you losing weight drinking coffee? Find out how Javita can change your life, help you lose weight, stay healthy, all while making money doing it. Call now, 246-4895. Hi, Priscilla Sanchez here. How would you like to be a guest on Chuck Leonard Central Valley Buzz? Give me a call or text, 559-203-0619. Hello, I'm Shelly at Horn Photo, and it's time to do more with your pictures. Get those images out of your camera, off your computer, and rescued from deep within your phone, and turn them into memorable photo keepsakes and gifts. Here at Horn Photo in Fresno, we have many wonderful photo items that we produce in-house, and we're here to help you find your individual style. So now's the time. Stop by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Ease, or visit us online at hornphoto.com to explore the possibilities. Ag is a vital part of the economy here in the Central Valley. Hi, I'm Ty Simpson, sales manager of the new Bland Solar Office here in Clovis. And if you're in the ag industry, you've probably given thought to solar. Whether you run a dairy, orchard, farm, or ranch at Bland Solar, we can custom design a system that's perfect for your business. The fact is that in this economy, replacing high-cost utility power with solar power is a great way to improve your bottom line. Bland Solar looks forward to serving the residents of the Central Valley. So call us today at 554-5657. Bland Solar, the Valley's expert in solar. Hey, everybody, yeah. let's have some fun. Right. You only live once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Watch Mike and Athena Fridays at 1 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. For all of your real estate needs, call Mike Briggs Properties, 559 486 Six seven five eight, or check us out at mikebriggsproperties.com. Hi, I'm Mike Briggs from Mike Briggs Properties. We're in some very uncertain economic times. Many people have lost their homes. Many people face losing their homes now. Know your rights. Know your options. Come talk to the experts right here at Mike Briggs Properties. By the way, we'll talk to you for free. We do not charge any fees at Mike Briggs Properties. Call us at 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. CentralValleyTalk.com All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Business here on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Scott, and we're going to start out today talking about a fun business just the name is fun. Wow Balls. <laughs> Central Valley Wow Balls. That's right. Here's the guy with the Wow Balls. <laughs> Ed Herschel, how are you, Ed? How you doing, Mike? <laughs> For people that don't know, Wow Balls are big, like, 
things that hamsters would crawl around in, but just much bigger for humans, right? Pretty much what we say. We tell uh, people that they get the experience to actually be a human hamster when they want to be. So. <laughs> We're going to have some pictures here in a minute. But it, it's on water, right? Right. Uh, we can either do it in an in-ground pool if you have one at your house, or we, we actually have uh, inflatable pools that we can bring out and set up for you if you don't have a pool. Um, beach houses, lakes, you know, whatever you want to do. Anywhere that there's water and people that want to have fun, this is the way to go. And you just roll around and oh, yeah. bounce off each other? Get or? in there and walk and run and roll around. Um, we actually had uh, one of the uh, fitness companies come out last year and do testing for us, and they did a uh, uh, an exertion test on it. And four minutes inside of one of these balls, if you're actually moving around, <laughs> is the equivalent to a 30-minute aerobic workout. So not I only is it, it fun, it's good for you. Yeah. Now, how do you, how do you get inside the ball? If you um, if you've ever seen them before, obviously it's a big six and a half foot ball. Right. But they start out deflated, and there's a large three and a half foot uh, German made zipper on there that's watertight, kind of like the kind of zipper that you would see on a standard wetsuit. So it unzips. They climb in. Looks like they're just in a big old bag. You put the blower inside of it, blows it up, and ah, put them right out on the water. Now, how long will it stay inflated like that? If you are just in there lounging, and we actually have had people that have bought these from us just to go out in their pool and take a nap to get away from the kids. Get out of here. <laughs> you, you can't hear inside of them, and people can't hear you, so it's a perfect way to get away from the grandkids. But if you're just lounging in there, you've got about three and a half hours worth of air. And it'll just slowly mm -hmm. deflate? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, 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 well, it must be a strong material. Um, there's two different types. There's TPU, and then there's PVC. People would associate your common PVC like a, a, a household beach ball. It's really thin. Um, we go with the TPU because it's much thicker. It doesn't give off any gases when it's hot. And you're right, the durability of it is the important thing. It'll last us. We could run a TPU ball in your backyard every day for four years, and it wouldn't have any problems. Wow. wow. Yeah. Now, what's the youngest that you can put a, a, a kid in there? For the wild balls, we like to say four years old. We've had some much younger than that, you know, with parental supervision, obviously. <laughs> Um, there we go. That's what they look like. Yeah, and we've had people, I, I would say, honestly, we've had people from three all the way up to 80 years old inside these balls. Now, could more than one person go inside one of those? When we do them, no. Um, if we sell you one and you do it in your house, you know, in your own backyard, you're welcome to do whatever you You have no you control over it. If it's right. <laughs> they do make a, a larger ball that is 10 feet in diameter. It's built for two people, but we don't like them because... With the turbulence in the water under, you know, moving around and everything, you really can't control how someone's going to walk or fall, so we don't want to bump anybody's heads together. So. Yeah. So what's the most balls you could put into a typical swimming pool? Depends. Your, your common basic pool is a 20,000-gallon pool. That one will hold about five balls. The people with the nice bigger pools, we can get eight, nine, ten balls in there at a time. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I want to see Billy inside one of them. There you go. <laughs> so... What, people call you and say, we're having a party. Right. Can you bring your balls over? Right. <laughs> That's usually how it starts out, and then it turns into a big laugh fest after that. But, uh, you know, we do everything. We do fundraisers. We'll do community events. We'll do private birthday parties, corporate parties. Our big thing is we go up and down the state of California doing different fairs and festivals. Um, we've got a lot of those scheduled this year. But when does fair season start? Uh, fair season actually starts this month. We we start really? out with the uh, Rippin Almond Blossom Festival, the twenty first, twenty second, and twenty third in Rippin, California. Wow! And then for us, the fair season pretty much goes until about the end of October. Well, the Fresno Fair is one of the last, right? Yeah, the Fresno Fair is one of the last ones, um, and I think right after that there is the one in Ridgecrest, which is called the Desert Empire Fair, and that pretty much ends the fair season. Yeah. So how did you get into this? <laughs> it, it, it's kind of funny, you know, talking about the fairs. We were at the fair one, one, about three years ago, and we saw it, and I'm thinking, that's the dumbest idea I've ever th seen in my life. Th this is crazy. Well, you know, you, when you go to the fair, you walk up and down, and you spend hours there. And, and I started realizing every time we'd walk by this guy's setup. There were people in there. There were a lot of people there, you know, and I started thinking, wait a minute, maybe, maybe I'm the dumb one. And, and it just so happened that it, I had spent 17 years in the car business and was thinking about some, doing something different. I wanted to spend more time with my kids and, you know, had a grandchild on the way. So the next day after the fair, got online and found actually the people that had brought this to the United States, within 30 days, we were out running fairs and doing parties and stuff. Wow, the big light bulb went off in your yeah. head. Yeah, and we've never looked back since, you know. We like to tell people that we have the only job on the planet where everyone's always happy, you know. There's never anyone mad, there's never anyone upset. Kids are laughing, adults are laughing, people are laughing outside when they fall on their butt inside the water. 
it's the only job you can have where everybody's happy all the time, and you can't get that anywhere else. That's you know? true. That's true. Now, if I have the party at my house and you bring in all the balls for the pool, whatever, do I have to have the insurance, or do you provide nope. the insurance? We or? are one of the few companies that actually do provide our own insurance. We carry a $2 million uh, umbrella liability. Um, most of your common bounce houses, places like that, they don't carry insurance, so if something happens, it's on you, not yeah. with us. We, we, Since we do so many fairs and have such state, you know, high state regulations, we carry our insurance not only for our fairs, but all the way down to the private parties, too. I'm not sure how you could even get injured inside one of those big balls, but... Yeah. You can't really. Twist an ankle or something. Right, you know, unless you're going to get a stomach ache from laughing too much, really. There's not too many <laughs> other things you can do. So. No, I'm, I'm assuming you have to take your shoes off, right? Yes. Uh, we try to have people go in with, obviously, no shoes. They can wear socks if they want. We recommend that they go barefooted because it gets you better traction on the plastic, you know, since it is kind of cold when it gets wet. So, yeah. So, w when you're done, mm -hmm. you just unzip the ball? And pull them right over the side of the pool, roll them down the <laughs> ramp, and unzip it, and they walk right out. <laughs> We were here a few weeks ago with uh, Chuck, and we actually got Chuck Leonard into one. So oh, you brought one? Yeah, that I would love to see that. <laughs> it didn't turn out quite the way we wanted it. To. All right. Now I asked you. I asked you how young you can put in there. What's the oldest person? Uh, we've actually had someone up to 81 years old, and wow. this was at the um, the Color of the Skies Festival, the benefit that they do for the children's hospitals in Ripon every year, and she was the most. Uh, in three years that we've been doing this, she's the best customer we ever had because the line was very long. You know, it was a hot day and there was probably 200 people waiting in line to get into these balls. And she didn't care, you know, it was her birthday. She was going up and down the line, <laughs> making everybody laugh and joking. And when she got out of those balls, because she'd already made friends with everybody in line, everybody was cheering for it, it was great, so. Yeah, you know, years ago, um, when the Stratosphere Tower opened in Vegas, mm -hmm. we, did, we did live shots from the top of the tower and they had all those rides up there. And there was like a 90-year-old guy that went riding on one of those rides, and I interviewed him, and he was just, he's like, when you get to my age, you'll do anything, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that lady probably was the same way. And she loved it, you know, and we still talk to her all the time. She sends us pictures and stuff. They ended up purchasing one of the balls from us, and it's, she, that's why I said she's really funny. She'll call us once in a while and say, I just had the best nap ever, and I'm like, what are you talking about? She bought them because she has 15 grandchildren. So when the house gets crowded, <laughs> she'll have her husband go outside and put her in the pool, and she'll take a nap for about three hours so that she doesn't have to hear him. That's great. She's, uh, we love her. Now, there's no chance you could suffocate inside that no. ball if you went to sleep inside of no. it, right? It, I mean, unless you're going to do an overnight deal, and even then you're still not going to suffocate. So. Yeah. So what does it cost to have one of these parties at my house? It, it really depends. We, we don't like to have set pricing. I mean, we go off of a general basis, but we try to cater to whatever – the, the host needs. You know, if they've got 15 people, if they've got 10 people, if they've got 300 people, if they're in this age group, we, we try to keep it within everybody's budget, you know, because we see, you know, our, our biggest thing is we see so many people renting bounce houses around the valley. To us, bounce houses are boring, so we want to give them something else to do. And, you know, we, we try to be competitive with that, with our new product, the Cannon Blasters. I mean, you can basically rent those for the same price you can rent a bounce house. Tell everybody what a Cannon Blaster is. A Cannon Blaster is, just like it sounds, it's a, a golf ball size Nerf product that fires out of a can and we have a big inflatable arena that's 25 feet long. It's got netting all over on the side. You can probably see them in a few pictures here in a bit. And they have two cannons inside the tent on both ends and all they do is they just drop these little balls down and then it shoots them across so they can either try to hit each other with them or they can try to catch them in the nets that are on top of the cannons. We are the only company in California to have these right now. Wow. Yeah. Now, can you can you bring both the big balls and the cannons Absolutely. to a party? Absolutely. We um, in, in March we're doing a thing for the North County Softball League for their opening day, and we'll have both products out there. Wow. Do you have clowns and things too? Or? No. <laughs> my wife. Who needs clowns when you have I'm big clown, balls? Right? But, right. Exactly. So. <laughs> CentralValleyTalk.com.